<laughs> well, speaking of games that are not trash, what are some of the games you've been playing and streaming, Alfredo? Or are they? I have been playing two <laughs> games. One on stream, a game called Tunic, and one that I told you guys about, Triangle Strategy. Yeah. So I'll start with Triangle Strategy because this game is the reason why I have not finished Elden Ring yet. <laughs> It's basically consumed my life because it's a classic, you know, turn-based tactics RPG, um, which I pre previously spoke about like two or three weeks ago. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, it's basically Final Fantasy's tactics and Fire Emblem combined into one. Uh, it takes parts of those and adds like a... Uh, a choice-based branching pathway kind of system to it so i last time i was talking about it uh, i was gushing about it how the story comes full force very political drama it's like game of thrones kind of story and not so much fantasy based so it, it, if you're looking for a final fantasy story this really isn't it it's more along the lines of a fire emblem three houses story where it's like all of these different kingdoms are coming together and they got all their problems no no all moogles just... walking around no <laughs> no um chocobos isn't no nothing chocobos. like that yeah zero out of ten because no chocobos i don't i don't <laughs> think they have you can have a horse that's about it that's about all you can ride in this game <laughs> so really um, realistic right exactly super gotcha. super realistic even though there's like magic and whatever major hyper real got you but as far as this game so i finally got to the final chapter of this game which I was hoping I would beat. But honestly, I would have beat this game a long time ago if I was not playing on hard mode, and I'm way too stubborn. Because with every single chapter of this game that I play, the battles are so tough. Like, I rarely beat a mission the first time I do it. I, it might take me, like, two or three, maybe four, so for some of the really hard ones, in order to actually pass it. So, like, hard mode is no joke on this game. And I'm here for it because I love to be crushed. So, yeah. So I'm like 50 hours into this game because every time you play a mission, it's like it might take you like two hours to finish like a battle because I'm playing on hard. Would not Jesus. be that. Yeah. I actually stepped down on normal just to see like the difference um, on, you know, how it would be. And I was just breezing past everyone on normal. So I was like, yeah, no, I'm not doing this. And then I flipped back to hard mode and restarted it because it was too easy. But anyway, all that to say the story, since I'm on the final chapter. So like I said, political drama, the story is good. It's what's driving me forward. But after a certain point, I'm kind of getting, it's kind of the Elden Ring problem that you're bringing, Ben. Like, I'm kind of getting bored of the stereotypical combat um, with the tactics because I feel like this game has overstayed its welcome a bit. And it's probably my own fault because I'm playing on hard and repeating some of the battles. So I wish there was a, a, a difficulty in between. But the story is bringing me back for more. <laughs> and the more I play this game now in the final chapter, it's a little bit Game of Thrones story, a little bit of uh, soap opera. I'm, I'm getting to the point where it's like, oh, wow, this is like a soap opera-ish well, story. That sounds anime. Is it anime-ish? I, I wouldn't say anime because really? it's okay. like, it, it's more soap opera and i can't really speak why it's just like some of these twists are just like so far out of left field you're like what <laughs> and you know it's fun it's, it's it's really fun um but yeah I, i'm really enjoying it great game i will say that uh this game is kind of showing its telltaleness of how the branching story paths work and that all that to say that it, it kind of railroads you into, you know, okay, you had your branching story path. This was your decision, but like, let's bring you back into the main story and everyone meets uh, in this middle main story section and you continue from there. So it's a little bit of your, your actual choices don't matter. And what the choices actually do is that they allow you to get some certain characters. So depending on what path you take, you'll meet certain characters. You won't be able to get other characters um, as opposed to the story being like, oh, okay, this is now your story because it's going to 
railroad you into one. It's more about, okay, are you able to get this character or not? So unfortunately, that, that was what drew me to the game. But later on in the story, very, very late in the story, it starts to give you like three branching stories, which ultimately leads to its different endings. So I'm a little bit sour about that aspect in that they didn't do kind of what Until Dawn does in giving you true different endings, like so many varied pathways. But hopefully the next time they decide to make a game like this, uh, they can fulfill all of those wishes. But still a good game. I'm excited to finish it. I'm a little salty also that there's like a golden path where it, you have to make very specific choices in order to unlock the true ending, which I definitely didn't do. So eventually I'll come back to this game and probably do that just to see. But I'm happy with the ending that I'm getting right now. So good game, I, bad name, triangle strategy. That's that I, one. I do have a question. Oh yeah, go for it. So you pride yourself the Duke of Education. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. of course that name is derived from the fact that you were playing fire emblem three houses when we yeah, first gotta, started gotta train podcast. my students much like this game gotta train these students right now i consider final fantasy i'm sorry ooh, fire emblem three houses to me the best tactical game i've ever played mm -hmm. truth be told like i i played xcom i played the mario game like i played a bunch of them and i'm like this to me just is the best mm -hmm. do you consider triangle strategy on that level no i do not fire emblem okay. is definitely miles above this game okay. and part of it is because of the story like with fire emblem all you get to know all of the characters on an individual basis and like you get to see them grow and get to know each of their backstories and with Triangle Strategy, the story isn't so much about the characters per se. It's more about the the politics and what's the plot, happening. The plot. Yeah. So the characters are a means to an end. Exactly. Like there are so mm, many okay. side characters that you can get. Like my favorite character is a mage called Narv that I got as in a, as a side character. But he, they pretend basically that he doesn't exist in the main plot. So like all of the cutscene, mm. he isn't there. It's just okay. like your core, like seven characters, even though you might have 20 a roster of 20 different characters that you get throughout the story only like seven of them are important per the game like they'll be in all of the cutscenes. so it's a little bit disappointing that their stories don't get integrated into the main story because they will do oh a new chapter is unlocked for narves backstory and you can view it but it'll be like a little kind of like a like a filler episode that anime does where it will be like oh this side character like is doing this um kind of deal as opposed to him actually having actions and consequences in the main story that's disappointing because that sounds a lot like octopath traveler it, it's definitely better than octopath traveler but no I, sure. I, I know but it just seems like the their games I've always, I love Dr. Pack Traveler. Like, I love the combat system in that. The story was lacking. From what I can see, it seems like these games just struggle with that overall organicness. Yes. You know? Yeah. Like, just everything coming together and being cohesive from a story standpoint. I 100% agree. I hope they can get there. with, But they definitely... Like these stories, Octopath Travel and this one definitely isn't on the Final Fantasy story type level that you would expect. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping they can get there because the combat's there, the like the the world is there, but like the interpersonal relationships and you actually caring about the characters is is just not there. Got you. No, that makes but sense. I'm hoping. Look, we, we were saying, I hope that they make an improvement with their next game before Triangle Strategy release. And they it seems like they have made an improvement. Like, this game seems like it's overall better. So hopefully mm -hmm. their next game is the one. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for it. 